I wanted to put this little insert in really quick because I was getting ready to mix up my piggies and my paints for the painting that you're getting ready to see. And I know there's been a lot of, you know, videos that have talked about this and questions and stuff, but I wanted to actually show a physical example. So I just, this is the new Flamingo. I just got it in and this is the new Unicorn. Just got in and the new Crescendo just got in. Have not used these yet. I'm gonna turn them around and you're gonna see. See how each one has a different amount in it, okay? And then I'm doing this through the viewfinder of the camera. Um, and so, and this is a lily pad, okay? You can see a substantial difference in amount in Flamingo, a little bit more in the Unicorn, not as much in the Crescendo, but a good amount in um, Nightfall, and then the jar is almost full in Lily Pad. So some people may think, well, they didn't put as much in here. Do you remember the old, it was like a riddle, which weighs more, a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers? Well, ultimately, they weigh the same, but there's going to be a lot more feathers than there are bricks to get the same volume amount. So just keep that in mind. Again, these are natural pigments. So if you get in a pigment, a TLP, that it looks like your jar isn't filled up, it's still by weight volume, the same amount as if you were to get a different pigment that doesn't weigh as much per volume. Does that make sense? Hope that helps. Welcome to this month's challenge from Nate's Patreon account that is Nate's Art Lab. So every month, Nate gives all of his Patreons a challenge. And this month, our challenge was to do some type of ring pour to show the versatility of a ring pour. And the personal challenge was to do it in a way that you've never done before. Well, instinctually, I was going to take my personal easy way out and do a combination straight pour ring pour. But then I remembered the operative words there were challenge yourself and do a style that you haven't done. I'm going to challenge myself, fingers crossed that it turns out, and do two ring pours using minimal colors. And then I have a variety of beautiful colors that I'm going to swipe through my ring pour with a cell activator. I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna layer my first cup. I my center, remember what you put in first is what comes out last. So I didn't want a whole lot of white in my center, even though it's going to be swiped through. Um, I still didn't want a whole lot of a, a white center. So, and I'm going to alternate in between, actually, I'm going to put some thicker layers. I'm going to alternate in between my white and my silver with the Payne's Gray. Um, if you do smaller layers with the ring pour, um, your colors will blend a little bit more. And I want to kind of keep my colors pretty separated. So I'm hoping that I, I normally always, 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 um, for straight pours, ring pours, things like that. I always like my paints on the much thicker side. And this time, because I'm going to be swiping and tilting and all of that, I did my colors thinner than usual. 
and I am really praying I don't have them too thin, but we will see. And I think I'm going to lay down a little bit of silver um, to pour into. Don't need someone to save me. We're gonna do the next one. Miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You Same thing. I'm gonna pour some silver. And then we're gonna start the ring pour. Here we go. Said you love for me something brand new. This is something you would never do Here we are in a car Let me see who you are who you Very pretty. I'm happy with that. You really are, are, yeah Don't need you here to say you're sorry Cause if you're gonna leave me then just do Now I'm going to take these beautiful colors uh, this is TLP Nightfall. Let's see, where do I want to go? I think I'm going to layer them here and swipe this way on this one. Mm. Gosh, there's so many pretty areas. And then this one, I'll layer them here and swipe that way. Okay. Don't take it slow. Don't be gentle. No, I just got to know if you're going to leave me, then just do. different ones. All right, we're going to use this one. All right, so little dabble do ya. Okay, here we go. Oh, those ring pours are so pretty. I don't want to mess them up. I'm sliding off over here. My can my canvas is level, but here we go. Very, very light, slow touch. Oh, so pretty. Now we are going, same thing, very light touch, very slow, just on top of your paint. You do not want to bury that paint. Okay. Oh my gosh, these colors coming through are so pretty. All right, now I'm just going to take a little palette knife, just dip it in my cell activator, and just get this little edge. Let's be honest for a second. Yeah. Same thing over here. You'll be in over your head, babe. Cause there is no one other. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to do is add some more flow extender so I don't have to lose any more than I absolutely have to. Then me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna start tilting. I 
wonder if I've ever done a painting that I don't end up with paint all over me. Thank goodness it's water space and it comes off easily. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so pretty. And I'm glad I laid that silver down because I'm not 100% convinced that I'm going to lose, that I want to lose this over here. So I'm going very, very slow. I may leave some of that silver on this end. I'm trying so hard to see that last little bit of green closest, like farthest from me, but in the middle. I'm trying to walk my paint to this corner without losing all of that green. All right, I'm going to leave the rest of that just as neg Let me look at it. Let's make sure that doesn't look funny leaving that negative space there. My paint is, the weight is still down here, so I'll be bringing it back, but I just want to look at it for a minute. It's really pretty because there's, you know, still this where the two rings were. I love all these little boulder rocks in here. And all of this lacing is absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if I have enough. Let's see if I have enough in my cup. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of make some fake lines. And I'll play with it. Remember, my paint, weight of my paint's here, so I've got to bring it back anyway. Um, but that helps. I'm just going to tip a little bit of that off just to make it look a little bit more organic. And remember, don't always just look at your painting, like where, what's coming off. You definitely want to keep an eye on that. Can y'all see? Oh, I wasn't looking up at the camera. Um, you definitely want to keep an eye on where, what, what it is that you're, you know, tilting off, but make sure that you're looking at the rest of your cam, I mean, your camera, <laughs> I have the camera on the brain now, the rest of your painting, um, for the overall composition, because it's not just about that one area that you're tilting off. Okay. Um. Anyway, let me get y'all down to show you. Alrighty, here it is. I turned off all of my studio lights just because there was such a bad reflection. So it's going to look a little bit darker on here than it is in person, but I love it. Like I said, I see the composition like this. I love the flow <clears throat> that it has. So this is the original ring pour, not the one that I added, I think. Nope, this is the one I added. <laughs> so, see, I can't even tell. But all of this is the original ring pour. This is just what I added so that I didn't have to lose all these little cells. There's that one little purple lonely cell. Oh, so pretty, though. Look at all of the ring, the original ring pour, the lines that still held, the little cells I got popping up. And then let me get, you can start seeing, see how this is the purple and stuff? It's not going to show up till it dries, but that's all that crescendo and the nightfall. And then you get, oh, see right there? That's you're getting into the flamingo and, um, unicorn and all oh, look at that look at all the look at all the different colors right there and it is not even dry yet then come over there to where the flamingo is looks pink oh where's my finger looks pink right there but look when the light shines on it look at all those different colors that's why oh look at that oh my gosh that is so pretty that's why I was so excited about playing with these new TLPs. Look at all these colors. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at that, how that looks like a vibrant emerald green. But 
when you look at it there, it just looks blue. Oh, so pretty. All right, same thing over here. So this is my original ring pour corner. So see, you can't, I'm glad I did the other, the other side instead of leaving it just the um, silver negative space. We get all of that lacing and all those little teeny tiny cells that are just sparkling under there. And I always love when you get this type of lacing and little cells. And then again, these are all the lines that still held from the ring pour. I love this piece. I was honestly, I wasn't sure. I got some little, even got little fingerlings with the ring pour. Um, I wasn't sure because again, I'm challenging myself. I've never, I've done ring pours. And I've definitely done swipes, but I've never swiped over a ring pour. But I love it. Look at that flamingo mixed in inside the lacing um, with that lily pad. Say you're sorry, cause if you're gonna leave me, then just do it. Don't take it slow, don't be jealous. There it is. I'm really pleased with it. I'm thankful to Nate for challenging us. Sometimes I go, oh my gosh, but it's fun to challenge yourself. Um, anyway, there's a bunch of us that are doing this May month collaboration challenge from Nate's Patreon, which is called Nate's Art Lab. Hopefully he's given us a playlist. If he has, it will be down in my description box. Please, please, please click on that playlist and it'll automatically take you to every single video and see how different, because I think everybody's trying to choose a different ring pour technique so you're not going to see the same thing over and over and over again i have a little friend pawing at my ankle she says paint time is over mommy it's puppy hold time oh my goodness look at how beautiful and vibrant these piggies dried uh, i'm just more and more in love with this piece the more i look at it and i think this is the best composition you can flip it the other way and it still looks just as good but i don't know i just love the flow of this so anyway i only have about 30 seconds to give you all dry results so about an 85 90 percent dry piece but i wanted to do it before i left again please click on that playlist and go watch everybody's videos and see all the different techniques and versatility of a ring pour this was such a fun challenge and consider joining uh, Nate's Patreon. He definitely keeps you on your toes and keeps you thinking. And I love it. So thank you guys so much for joining us. And please, again, if you will, consider subscribing to my channel and follow us on this journey. So as always, until next time, bye, friends. Here to say you're sorry.